Right there everyone, how's it going? So today we have got a YTP here from the um, Callum's Corner community. Um, as you know, we've had uh, another YTP here on before, Funky Dinosaur. But today we have the one, the only, Tosspot. Hey up, hello. I, I, for a second I forgot how to say hello. Like, cause AOP is now in my, <laughs> like, AOP is now in my, like, my vocab for some reason. Like, ever since, I think it's been in there for like a few months now. I like, just, every, I even say AOP. Just hey, out of nowhere. So it's, it's sort of stuck with me now. Fair enough, bro. I remember when I was a kid, um, one of my cousins always used to say "I up" when something like crazy was happening, and there's this one person who used to go like "way up," and I was like, "Bro, Callum's corner says A up," and he's like, "What? I didn't realise he uh, made this big." Bloody hell! Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's stuck with me now. So <laughs> it's, it's uh, I, I don't think I can ditch it. What do people what do like... what do people think when you say that? Well, they don't recognise it. Because, oh. Uh, I, like the people I say to probably don't watch Callum's Corner. Yeah. They yeah. probably think I think AOP is just a northern greeting. I think. Yeah. Because so, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm living in the north. It's you know they don't you know suspect anything. Yeah, 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 I get it. So first things first, bro. What what point did you get into like the Callum's Corner community? Was it the Willany stuff or was it a random raid you watched or? Well, I'll give you two answers for this. The first one, uh, well, it was the Woolly stuff. Oh, okay. You know, like that's what how that's how I knew him, like how I knew the the capital, you know, how I knew Callum's Corner. But I think when I actually was invested in it, I think it was his seven pound hotel room because I thought I liked the mix between the seriousness of it oh, yeah. and like the comedic value of it. And that's yeah. why I think it's one of his best videos. It really was. It's like mm, it's it's got his seriousness of this hotel's bad. But then it's the stuff of that just happens in it, and it's the mixture of him stealing the toilet paper, the strobe light in the bathroom, and it's just it just all works together as a, a brilliant video. That is, yeah, fair comment, man. I mean, it was funny how he complained about the stuff. It was, you know, how Callum's kind of like over exaggerated stuff. You sort of think to yourself, well, is is this true what he's saying about this hotel? Is it as bad as he makes it out to be? And it actually is really crap. I know he looked at reviews and all that, but like, you think is it really going to be this bad? I mean, it just, it just, it was just like a, that's what made it, I think, that video. Just, uh, the, just the small things that you think, oh, there's no toilet paper, there's no, but it's, it's basically stuff you expect in a hotel, so I can understand why I'd be a bit annoyed about it, but it costs seven quid, you can't complain. Yeah, exactly, yeah, but mind you, didn't they make him pay like 17 quid or 18 quid because he was, uh, the family room, like if you're with a family, it costs seven quid. That was, was... I think that was the case. Apparently, there was a news article, uh, a, a local one from the Isle of Wight, um, which actually picked up on the video. And yeah. I think he did pay, I think it was like 18, 20, or 20, it was between like 25 and 18 pounds he paid for it, I think, in the end. Um, but there was a little, not, not an argument, but a sort of disagreement about the price. Oh, okay. I see. Well, um,. So I was also going to ask Rice, what's your favourite video? Like, what's your favourite rage that he's done? What has really stuck out to you? Uh, um... uh, do you know what? I, uh, uh, it's it's uh, you say favourite, okay? Um, if you, if you want me to say it, it's a choice of three. Okay. But in my opinion, the best one in my opinion has got to be, I think the jumble tube one. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, I think the one of you. The three, it was either that one, the dog poo one. Oh yeah. The, uh, Cause he smells a shit. I think it's probably the arse clip. It just it's stuck in my head now. So that that whole video is stuck in my head. But I think it was also um I believe it's I was having a burger and Burger King, and when I try and confront them, I'm the bad. <laughs> <laughs> And it's, it's, I think it's, it was those three, but I think it's got to be the jumble tube one. Just yeah, 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 yeah. The delivery of how he says it. What you he sent an email, email you sent, sent a complaint, complaint in saying, I sucked off dogs for quavers. How does that make me look? <laughs> like, these are all anonymous. They can't tell me who they're from. Yeah. But that, I think, when was that? Like 2017? It was, uh, like, like 2016. If, like 2016. you got to think, imagine if that was now like, what the jokes you get in the community now. Like, imagine what that would have come at us. 
It would be lit as anything. Oh, it would be it would be perfect. I'm I'm not too sure what's actually happened to the company itself. I think they folded. I think they shut down. Sure. I think they shut down after Callum uh, made overpriced badges. Uh, no, badges, no. Can I just say quickly? Did you see how much his merch used to cost? There was this nonsense, no. nonsense bloody hoodie with his face on that costed like I think twenty or thirty quid. <laughs> It's ridiculous. There's nothing good on it. It's just, I, it's funny to have his face on, but come on, lad. And this was when he was like a small time YouTuber. I've always wanted to get this off my chest. Like Callum's like, oh, I hate the big man taking advantage of the little man. But why are you making your shit cost so much? I swear, no, I swear, like hoodies and things only cost three quid to make. How much money do you need? I mean, come on, lad. What's the print? Like, how much is the printing? Like, I'd say like probably a certain like a five of a hoodie. For, for the printing, I'm probably not even that. I, I don't know the the, the the background to printing, but it shouldn't cost 20, 20 quid for a, a, a hoodie. But I'd like to know if anyone's got any of his badges <laughs> from back then. Like, I'd like to. Know I don't. Like, I don't think the. I don't. I think the badges were like a quid and a half. But aren't badges usually like twenty five or fifty p? Ridiculous. Absolutely. Yeah, I think they are. Like, but the thing <laughs> is, the thing I is, the most exp- the, spe- the most expensive one I've seen was like a cancer one. But that's like a charity one. That makes sense for it to be. Yeah, yeah, it that is. fair play. That Not is one pound fifty for a bad, you know, with, with his head on it. Yeah. Do you remember how he used to say, like, and if you do this, Will, I'll throw in a free badge for you. <laughs> 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 Who wants this nonsense yeah, badge? <laughs> <sighs> oh, the bad, the badges. I think it just the whole thing from twenty sixteen to now. It's it's the. There's so much you can go off. It's, yeah, he's probably it's one of the most... ridiculous. He has such variety in his stuff, man. He's uh, probably one of my favourite YouTubers. And I'd say he's definitely in top five best because there's so much different stuff that goes on and that you can talk about. Um, I was just going to say, though, right, if he... I sort of have a little bit of... As much as I just went on a massive rant, I have a tiny bit of sympathy for him making the stuff cost so much because he was living with his mom. I'm guessing the care working probably wasn't paying the bills and helping him that much. He probably thought, I'm on YouTube, I'm a bit famous, let's capitalise on it, because he doesn't sell the merch anymore. But if he sold the merch right now, I would be absolutely livid for that much money and barely any... It, like, it's... You're paying loads and you're not even getting value for money because it's just nonsense. Like, it's just a, his face all the time, you know. Well, you've got to think, if, you, if you're an employee and you Google his name, the first thing that comes up is, my head does not like... How does that look? You're going for a job as a care worker. Okay, let me just do a background check on Mr. Dad. And then you see that. And then you see this, this sort of screen of just... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Just a bunch of rants. And one of them saying, I, my head does not look like a solid tic-tac. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, um, would you employ that guy? Like, is that someone you'd employ? <laughs> yeah. And um, I remember on the Stephen Tries, Stephen Tries Less channel... He, um, one of the videos he reacted to... No, 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 Stephen was laughing at him, at Callum reacting to... It was Stephen reacting to his video, um, of him reacting to Stephen's video of his rap. Oh, him, which, of, my, oh, which was Stephen reacting to his video? Do you remember, actually, talking of reacting to reacting? No, but basically, Callum says, if you look up Callum Adams, it says, sucks off dogs for quavers, and then Stephen laughed his head off, because it's like, it's totally out of context, but obviously people in the Callum's <laughs> Corner community know what it's all about. I was going to say, though, um, I, I used to find Callum's Corner saying anything so funny when he was like, he's doing a reaction of his video, of my video, of his video, of my video. I'm getting lost in all of this, Will. <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know what's so funny about him, man. I think I think it was just a 20, 2016 Callum was like prime Callum. But like anything sort he said, of. It was just, I think it was the delivery of the line. Not the line itself, but the, the, the delivery, the way he says it, it's... Um, and I think just I think because the camera wasn't as good. I mean, it was a it's decent camera. It's from a phone or a tablet. Yeah. But I think it's just the way it looks, sort of the grainy look with the mics a little bit muffled. Yeah. It just looks like some middle-aged man just picked up a tablet in a, in a fit of rage and just made a video like at the heat of the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean that sort of gives it more of a realistic feel because if he had picked up like a 4K camera and then filmed himself raging on that you'd think why has he made this such good quality but instead it's just a yeah. long three minute clip of him complaining about stuff so it does make it feel real generic, not generic, uh, it makes it feel more authentic yeah genuine and more authentic you know um but yeah i, I prefer like 2017 i prefer like 
2017-18 Callum where he's just screaming all the time. That's quite funny. And I do love serious Callum as well. 2017 Callum was hilarious because it was the first ever meme review, wasn't it? In late 2017. I believe it was 2018. Oh, 2018. I can't remember the actual date. That's my um, favourite Callum because he used to get so angry. But I did love him getting angry at Stephen Tries going, You've got ginger hair! That was amazing. And he just walks off and, uh, oh, it's. I mean, it's just, I think that's what sums him up. I think it's just his, uh, the anger. Um, his first meme review, I just had to thought I'd double check for you. It was, uh, June 5th. Oh, cool. All right, um, 2018. Which, I mean, that's still two years ago. Yeah. So that's ridiculous. Like, you got to think how we've gone from 2016 to 2018, and then now it's <laughs> four years. It's I mean, that feels long. I mean, and especially in YouTube times, that's four years in YouTube, like eight years in real life. Yeah. But the time is so ridiculous. Yeah. And it's like, um, it's just... <laughs> He really has changed a lot. I don't mean to laugh then, but like you see him at the start being a bit timid, a little bit. You think, is this guy okay in the head? But then he slowly comes about. And obviously he does have some moments where he acts very weird, but it's absolutely hilarious. I've never laughed so much at Rages and I've never felt so much um, emotion for some of his videos. You know, like the one where he's crying or the one ones where he's having a heart-to-heart -heart talk or giving you advice. The self-defense ones are hilarious. I've never laughed so much. Run around with the can of beans. Nika, boom! <laughs> you know? And I think the chair, he just grabs, I think I think it's multiple attackers, he just grabs the chair and you want to, and then it's, it's, it's so weird. It's, I think it's just the awkwardness as well that makes it hilarious. Yeah. It, it's like, is this guy being serious or is he, is he taking the piss? Um, and I think that's what makes him as well such a memeable character. Yeah, yeah, man. Definitely. Um, I was actually going to ask like, what got you into YTP and him? But it's obvious in it, you know, it's the... All the weird, random things he says. It's not like in an animated film uh, that isn't, you know, that's a PG where you have to ma merge the words together to make him say stupid stuff. Callum's already said yeah. loads of stupid stuff and obviously well, it's copyright free. He doesn't care about it. The funny thing with this is... The funny thing with this is... The thing that inspired me to do YTP wasn't anything to do with Callum or any oh, of the... I am shocked. Monkeys. There was two fellas who made in between a YTPs. One was called The Geek and one was called Fergus Griggs. Now, Fergus Griggs has a channel. He hasn't uploaded on it for about a year and The Geek's channel has either been deleted or taken down. It's not on YouTube anymore. And they made YTPs of him between us. And it was just hilarious. Like, the, the, the way they made them say things that were just... I knew what YTPs were, but I never knew the actual name of them, if that made sense. Like, you saw an NCV and thought, this is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, um, I get, yeah. And the in between ones what really got me in it. I think... But the thing, when I watched it, I was like, where can I download an episode of the Inbetweeners? That's what the problem was. But where, like, if you try to download the audios off, or it's poor quality, or it's this, or it's that. So, for me, when I saw... I think I saw a meme review. And I saw the first one, which was... Uh, it wasn't a condescending video, I think, I can't remember who made it, but it was called Callum's Corner Gets Seki Time, and it's the way someone edited it to make him say, um, top five bodily pleasures, number five, cleaning out, Sophie Aspin's grimy arsehole, and it's just the way they put the words together, yeah. and it was Because it was like, like it, was done at, it was done at different tones, wasn't it? It was like, <clears throat> cleaning out, Sophie, Sophie Aspin's <laughs> grimy arsehole, <laughs> it's like, and he's like, no, that is filth, that is absolute filth. <laughs> sort of made, I thought, do you know what, let's, let's try making a YTP. I tried making a YTP, I think it was with a Sky Sports source clip. Uh, it didn't come out as well as I wanted to, so I tried a Callum one. Um, and I think the first one I uploaded was like in April of 2019, which was Callum's Corner Eats Bristol in Breakfast. <laughs> which, I mean, it's if you compare that to my latest ones, it's not the best, uh, I think. Um, I mean, the, the sentence mixing's a bit choppy in some places. Um yeah. Uh, I didn't know, believe it or not, I was new. Well, no, I wasn't new to a Premiere Pro. I had it for about four years. I knew, like, I knew how to use it, but I only used it for like, like simple um, commentary style ble of things. Believe it or not, that's what I used to do oh. about four years ago. Cool. It's, that's why I downloaded it. But uh, like, and I tried to do different things to see what would work. And I thought, and YTP, I don't know how they've how they've worked for me, but. I guess loads of it could be down to Callum. Uh, well, no, not loads of it. I think I'm going to say like 60% is down to Callum because at the end of the day, he's given me the audience, but I've yeah, kept the he? audience. So yeah, exactly. Say, um, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but if I was bad, people would go, okay, yeah, this guy's bad, let's move on. But it's, I've, I've kept, I managed 
to maintain an audience, um, which I think is the best thing. So at least it gives you a reason to make YTPs. Because when I was doing them, remember I had no viewers. I had, or when I say no viewers, people would view them, but you had like no subs, no no comments. So there was so not no interaction. So you think, okay, I'm gonna make this, but you're making it for yourself, so to say. And um, I was sort of lucky. When, I was even happy when I got like the first few comments. Like it sounds like I don't say pity, uh, like pitiful, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like. So on the first sort of first few comments, I was like, okay, people like it, that's brilliant. Um, and believe it or not, Funky was actually one of my first, I think was in like sort of the first 10 or 20. And okay. that's how I found Funky. So I thought, okay, let's see what this guy uploads. And it was YTPs. Um, and I think that's sort of stuck, like that's sort of why I think we both rose at the same time, because we both sort of both met each other at the same time. And then we both featured in the same meme review, which was... I think it was August time or September. I can't remember, but all I know is I, I donated to him on stream. He saw the name and thought, oh, Toss, I saw your video. It was vile. I was like, oh, shit, he's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, which one's he seen? Mm-hmm. And it was Callum's Corner is exposed as a racist, mm-hmm. which, fun fact, uh, behind the scenes, that nearly never came out. I nearly Ooh. never made that video because, well, going back, I made a video where I think he was wearing a T-shirt with a flag on. I don't want to get your thing taken down but it was a don't yeah please group. don't say the flag yeah you know the flag of a certain group um and that joke nearly never came about because instead of saying jumble tube i was going to originally edit it to say this video has been sponsored by ebay mm. um and then i just remembered hang on he says i very pronounced oh. and then when he says and my sister amy i thought oh this is brilliant let's try this i think that was the first time i tried sentence mixing that was the yeah. first time I tried it, and it came out fine. Um, mm-hmm. But I put the subtitles at the bottom to, you know, um, make out what I was trying to say. But that joke nearly never came about. And I think that started off this whole little Callum's Corner subsection of him being, you know, a, a, a terrorist. And, I th- it's, and that's where most of that sort of probably span off from. I don't want to claim it, but I'm just saying like, yeah, yeah. that probably what started the ball rolling on that. I but what really mind. made it was the Callum's Corner is exposed as a racist. It was just a simple way of mixing the undercover as a ginger person and you just put black. How one word just changes the whole narrative of that video and the yeah. whole context of it. I mean, I, made it. I mean, personally, uh, I didn't really... Me, person, I get it's meant to be a joke, but I didn't find that one that funny. But Callum's reaction was funny because he was getting really uh, heated about it, you know. Because he thought, like, oh, people are going to believe this, aren't they? But in reality, come on, no one's going to believe a bunch of edited things put together, are they? But you can see how edited it is, though. Like the, there's a delay between, I'm going to go undercover as... And it's like a delay. Yeah. And it's like black person. Like it does, You can clearly see it's been altered, but I think it's the way it just it, it works. And I think there was a clip where he said, go about my normal tasks, blank, Eddie. And he thought I'm. I, he thought I made it something it should. It wasn't. And he put his own spin on it when that wasn't what it said. So which I mentioned in like a follow up video. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, don't bring. Uh, yeah, if you want to know. But basically, um, actually, no, no, just forget that bit. But it's just Callum got the what it was mixed up. You know. And yeah, that sort of uh, made things that look a bit sort bad. Of came out of nowhere. Yeah. Bit odd how he put his own spin on it, but there you go. And I called it out for him. I called him out for it in like the sort of YTP follow up of him reacting to my meme, uh, which I thought, you know what, I've got to call that out. That's not what I said. Or that's not what the YTP said. Um, but yeah, okay, if you want to say that, that's no problem. Um, I, 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 again, I don't want to claim stuff, but I, I believe that semi what started it. But also, that meme review is what made change memes. Because Funky, like, remember, it was always used to be Callum is a nonce. Exactly. Callum is a nonce, Callum is a nonce. That was sort of the joke throughout. Yeah, Funky made him into a porn star, I made him racist. So, there, it's it's gone into two different directions. So, it's, you know, it's not the, what am I trying to think? It, so, you don't have to keep making him a nonce anymore. You can do other stuff with him. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's what eventually what sort of changed things. Um... And sort of changed how memes came out. I mean, further down the line, through different meme reviews, I mean, obviously the the bar's getting higher. So, for example, now, 
keyframing um you know with the moving pictures is now yeah that i was gonna YTPs. say um sentence mixing it's, it's still that's always part of ytps but now it's become you've got to sentence mix the words um there was one i made which has been taken down which i can say the title because there's nothing wrong with the title uh some people may know it it's callum's ytp callum's corner goes on a fun family day out and goes to the wrong camp that video got taken down by youtube for certain reasons but um that had probably one of some of the best sentence weeks i've ever done mm. a little bit annoyed they took it down but <laughs> it's uh it is what it is um, did you get so are they like threatening to ban your channel or is it a strike or did they just say sorry well, video's was, gone? Well I'm clear now, but I think back in I think it was round about April to May for that month period I had two strikes. Ooh. I got one strike which was well no, I got sorry, scratch that. I got the warning which was I uploaded the Deji we uploaded the Deji video that got taken down. Now the reason they took that down was because it had a theme of a certain group in Arabic um, and YouTube picked up on that as hateful or hate speech um, I was a little bit confused why because the actual video of the song was on YouTube um, oh. so I was a little bit confused at that um, the second one the second one when I say second the first strike strike was actually a thumbnail song designed for me which was for hate speech again there was no hate speech at all um, in the thumbnail. Maybe because Callum had a tea towel on his head, so I edited like a, a tea towel on his head as a, as a mask. I think they picked up on that. Oh, um, okay. I tried to... Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> not counter it. Um, God, I'm not really good. I'm trying to think of the words, but... I responded to it and said, look, this is wrong. This is not what you think. Got nothing back because YouTube, that's how they work, you know. Fat, fat chance to get anything back from YouTube, and that's that's what it was. And then I think the second one was for my Callum's Corner Goes to the Wrong Camp video, oh, which yeah. got me the second one. And for a month, I didn't upload because I was too scared to upload just in case it took my channel down. I think I had about 1500 subs at the time, and I had that Lego City video out, which had about 60 odd K views, which I thought, okay, that's decent. So I'm not gonna, I didn't want to lose my channel, so I slowly backed away from YTP for the time being. And the strikes went away. Yeah. Well, um, I think that is a good point where we can go into, like, I think that's a good way to end off that point and we can go into the uh, thing that a lot of people have wanted to uh, know about and they've been asking you about it and even I asked you about it. Well, I've asked people about it. Um, the situation with Sips. Now, I just want to say first... Heads up, right? When I've talked to him, he's always seemed like a nice, humble guy. Um, but it seems that behind the scenes, he's done a few uh, questionable things, and we're going to discuss them uh, and try and look at both sides of it. If he has got a side to his story, if you want to uh, take the floor, then toss pot and talk about yeah, the whole so situation. Between, uh, so I'm going to say you stuff that has been said to me that is confirmed, and I'm going to leave names out just to protect those. Um, but they know, they know who they are. People know who they are. So <clears throat> between September 2019, I think, I will say January 2020, I, I used to speak to Sips pretty much, not every night, but most nights, like about stuff in Callum's Corner community, the live streams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so we got we got on pretty well. Like nothing was of, you know, nothing was of dubious nature or anything like that. But eventually we made a, an alternate server called The Basement. Now, this was made by Potter Pasta. He made this server, which I think Funky explained it to you in uh, the podca uh, a podcast 11 months ago. This, this server we made called The Basement, which was like, it was a kind of corner server, but we said to the old, the uh, the head mods of the proper server, we said, this isn't an official knockoff one. This is just a spin-off. So if you're more into the memes rather than Callum's Corner, and you can say what you want in this server as long as you don't dox. So you can say whatever you want. And it sort of thought, okay, it's a good place to send people if they're toxic. So it's like, okay, it works out. Now, Sips was one of their mods with us, along with a fellow called TGM, who I'll get onto later. Um, we all modded this server. And one day, or one night, should I say, the server got purged. Oh. And Sips has added a purge bot. Now, at the time, because obviously you're blinded by friendship, we thought, okay, what's happened here? At the time, we thought, well... Pot had his mind made up, but me and TGM thought maybe it was an accident, maybe someone's tricked him, 
and sent him a bot. He didn't know what it was. So we, we stuck up for him, right? We sort of said, look, mate, we'll, we'll talk this through. And, uh, you know, we, that's, what, that's what sort of friends do, sort of stick up for him and say, look, okay, we'll, we'll talk to Pop about this. Then he sort of left. He got banned, or I think he left for about a week. Came back in and demanded head mod. Pop said no. He put his foot down and said no. Sips got funny about it and left the server. Just over... And this time he, just over sorry, go just over not being head mod that was it nothing else at all yeah but he purchased server so it's like pop has a valid reason not to give him head mod back did he say why he purged the server no because he, he portrayed it as an accident no oh. so that's that's why we stuck up we thought okay we're gonna stick up this guy if if, if it's an accident we'll stick you know we'll stick up for him um we did find out later that, I want to say later, like a few months ago, it was a genuine purge attempt. Yeah. It was an accident. It was, I know what I'm doing. Um, and then I think there was a... F- now, this is where things get interesting. In Why? the basement times, there was, there was an account called Mando. Okay, now everyone knows Mando now. Okay, but Mando was an account at the time which we thought was just someone, you know... Chatting, ch- chatting shut, you know, you can't someone who pipes up in a server just to cause arguments. We thought nothing of it. This guy kept demanding mod. This Mando guy. And only one person would back him to get mod, and that was Sips. Oh. We eventually found out why, and it will get onto that later. But as we said, this Mando guy we thought was uh, just some guy piping up, just chatting shit. And he was also in TDC. Which, well, that means Discord Corner, which is the official Cannabis Corner server. Um, so, Sips was in charge of Discord, uh, Discord Corner. He was, I think he was a model. He became overseer at the time. I think he was overseer, um, which is like the head mod, or was the head mod position, but now they've changed it to super mod. Uh, Sips was uh, part of that with two others. One was Besme, which we, we know about, and one was a fellow called Denmark, with two other mods. Uh, Denmark... Uh, got removed as overseer, so it was only Besme and Sips and these two other mods. These two other mods uh, left uh, or stepped down, so it was only left with Sips and Besme. And this is where we get into about March time. So, so these two have the server. Everything seems normal until someone gets a ping in the server in the announcement section. We go over it, and it is a fella, or is as I mentioned earlier, a pot of pasta. But someone he basically Besme added the server and put his voice in the server, despite it not being public before, which contravened one of the rules: do not record, um, do not record voice clips or anything like that. Now, the argument they used was, well, Pot wanted to partake in an event, which was a roast event, which never was made public. The event or the video was never made, which was given to Sips to make. It was never made. And that in April caused a bit of a stir where we said, hang on, you can't just do that. Um, and when we tried to debate them, there's a channel in the, the server called Debates. We went in there. He, he put the server in slow mode for six hours because me and TGM made good points. And Besme tried to portray me. And when I say tried to portray me, the way she worded it, as a, as a nonce. That's true. Really um, she said, oh, why are you talking to a 15-year-old? Because Pop um, was 15 at the time, but I spoke to him about YTPs, nothing else. Like, it's the way she tried to word it. But we'll get onto that later, because she uses the same thing again later on. So this sort of kicked off. Um, Pop got kicked from the server, or he just kept getting mod abused. Um, so we went on GTA. Pop said nothing in the server at all. We come back in, he's muted for, for no reason. <laughs> um, so he said okay we can't be doing this is, this is bollocks so some, uh, sort of a little not a revolution but something started up in April where we tried to get them removed however we didn't have any screenshots or anything um, so we had no screenshots or anything and they could lie to Callum and just say they're just salty which they could get away with because that's how it looked it wasn't until about, I'd say, my, May, May time or June. I, I went away for about a month in, from May to June. 
came back and loads of stuff happened when I was gone. Um, so loads of people were getting fed up with the way it was run. You couldn't say anything, you couldn't do anything without literally a mod, well, not a mod, an overseer breathing down your neck. So basically, as I said, I've this, this account called uh, Mando kept piping up, right? I kept, you know, spamming a chat, doing stuff and getting away with it, right? Which was a little bit suspect and uh, kept having an issue with people in the server. Now, when I say have an issue with people in the server, there was about three, four people Sips has an issue with, and this account had an issue with the same people. <laughs> um, now, a fella in the server caught on to this and said, hang on a minute, how come this account called Mando has issues with the same people Sips does? Now, this is where it gets funny. As soon as um, this person said it, the account Mando never came back online. Oh. So we kind of thought, hang on a minute. And we memed it. We said, days since Mando came online. And we just memed it. Because, like, hang on. We said something and this account has gone quiet. It gets a bit usual um, usual suspect there, then, I guess. Mm. Well, it got unusual because we said, right... So we've got a theory. That's all it is at the moment. A theory. Eventually, uh, some some uh, some screenshots were, were put in, and basically, it confirmed. Well, basically, it, it started with this stream where a fellow called Jersey Boy, who's a sound like one of the most soundest people in the server in the community, or should I say? Um, now this is. A, Oh, this is just... I hate explaining this because it's so awful. So, have you heard of the fellow Jersey Boy? I think Callum's mentioned him a few times, but I can't really remember him that well. Well, there's a meme now of cranked that Jersey Boy because it was from a video from 11 years ago oh. <laughs> in America. But um, So, Jersey Boy basically did two charity streams combined time of 29 hours Bloody for hell. charity. What a legend. I mean, he raised about 400 quid in one. I can't remember how much he raised in the other, but even though the amounts are small, it's the, the, the principle that counts. Definitely. It's, you know, it's the principle that I think the principle that counts. Sips spent all, most of his time in them just trolling Jersey on fake Sips accounts. So he could just play offers. Look, this is not my account doing this. Him, both Sips and this other person called Besby, who I'll get into later on. So... <laughs> They are literally just constantly targeting and harassing Jersey. And what I mean harassing, not like, you know, like a joke or like something in the server. Constantly harassing him, harassing him, harassing him. Like, like mass dislike bombing his streams. Uh, and this other account, as I said, called Mando, just kept literally putting in the thing at Jersey Boy Fat. Like, no context, no nothing, just kept putting fat. Just trying to be hurtful. Then, yeah. Oh, no, the intent, yeah, the intent there was to be hurtful. There was no meme behind it, no nothing. I mean, we say it now to Jersey, but he knows it's a joke. He knows it's a meme because we're just phrasing what someone said. Now, eventually, the best way to explain this as well, it's like he's committed a murder. Okay, he's hidden the body. He's covered through the evidence. He's got away with it. But what he's done is he's texted a mate to go, oh, yeah, by the way, I've, I've killed someone. So yeah. he's done all that hard work just to say, oh, yeah, I've done this. That person knew right from wrong because all they thought Mando was was just his account trolling. They never knew the you know, the intentions behind it. Hmm. This Mando account basically went around doxing people. Um, and what I mean doxing, li literally, um, rogue memes who people know and they ask, where did rogue go? That was one of the things we kept getting spammed. Where did rogue go? He was blackmailed off the internet, basically, by by Sips or by Mando, but we'll, we'll get on to that. Um, to the point where, if you don't delete your videos, I will leak your information. So he was, he thought, yeah, okay, I'm deleting my stuff. And it got to the point where you couldn't even say Mando in any context to Rogue, otherwise he would just block you. Ooh. He was literally like, he wouldn't do anything. 
Um, so hold on, can I just ask though, how did Sips? Who did Sips message? Or are you saying using that as like a comparison, like a metaphor, like well, like um, an unrealistic comparison? Drink. Like you said, Sips basically committed a murder, but then he did he message someone like you know, sucking up to his own ego, saying, "Oh, look at what I've done on Mando." Ha ha ha. Or was that just yeah, a figure of? That's oh. what I meant. No, that's what I meant. That's the metaphor. So the metaphor is he's committed the perfect crime. No one knew Sips was Mando. How did they find out then? That's... Because of all the doxing. No, right. So basically, hmm. all we went, all we had was screenshots, which could be taken out of context, which they could defend. Oh, that's out of context. So the Mando accusation was made in June. So we looked at the dates of the messages Sips sent to this person in DMs. So we looked at the dates. I go right. Well, there's no way he can claim he was taking the, you know, taking the piss here because look at the date of this message. Now, Sips basically said to this person, "Look, I'm going to go in as Mando," but then that could be taken out of context. The one thing that got him banged to rights. So, as I said, Mando was like this public trolling account. Right, everyone thought Mando was its own person. We basically one stream. And this is where another meme comes in, the billionaire alt accounts. So I went into a YouTube chat with the name Bill Gates and kept trolling Jersey. I went into the name Elon Musk, kept trolling Jersey. We thought it was funny because of the way he said, F off Elon Musk, and it sounded funny. But then eventually, another one called Jeff Bezos, um, so it sounds funny because of the memes from it, but had a picture of Jersey's dad. Oh, as the YouTube profile picture. That's really, that's a bit of a low blow, isn't it? That's a bit uncalled for. But the thing was, Mando kept bragging, saying, look, I'm Bill, I'm Bill Gates, I'm Jeff Bezos, look, I'm trolling Jersey. <laughs> Sips DM'd to one of his, to this other person, oh no, Google want me to have more SIM cards or I need another SIM card. Mando complained about needing a SIM card. Can you see where we made the comparison or brought the two together? So do you reckon he no. was just? Do you reckon he wanted you guys to find out to annoy you, or did you just slip up? No, no. I think he he shot himself in the foot. He assumed that he was in a position where this person's not gonna do anything. Why did it he is. troll this Jersey boy? What did Jersey boy do to him then? It's uh, there's no one hundred percent factual proof of anything that Jersey did to him. The only thing I can think of was he kept asking Callum to edit uh, edit videos for him. So he wanted to edit videos for Callum, Jersey. Oh, okay. As a, as a hobby, like, and Sips just felt, I don't know if he felt attacked by this. But again, this is all speculation. This is not, we have no reason why, or no 100% confirmed reason why he went after Jersey. Even if that was, um, even if that was the case, it seems a bit too far to um, go for something oh, like that. Oh, it is. It was. To... Um, and eventually, we, we thought, still need more we still need more we're going to bring in another account <laughs> this is it, it gets ridiculous so there's an account called Marge Simpson um, which is a parody account of we have a fellow in the server called Homer Simpson um, who, is an, who is a different person Homer Simpson is a completely different person but this account called Marge Simpson joined TDC TDC is a server owned by TGM which Besme and Sips slandered as a doxing server it wasn't a doxing server. One half kept trying to dox, but they got banned. So there was a zero, you know, a zero tolerance on uh, doxing. It joins the TDC, this Marge Simpson account, with Jersey's dad. That's the profile picture again. Oh. TGM spots this and bans the account for doxing. So we've got proof that this account was doxing. It got banned. Now we need to link it. But we know Sips is Mando and Mando is Sips. So we need one, we need to either link this March account to Mando or link it to Sips. And there we are, we've got another link. Marge went on about the billionaire alt accounts again. <laughs> I'm going in as Bill Gates. So we thought, oh, there we are, we linked it. So we managed to link Sips to this Marge Simpson account because we linked Sips to Mando, linked Mando to Marge Simpson, and it's done a full circle and linked it back to Sips. So we've got all this evidence, all this proof that he's not, it's not just mod abuse. Like that's what the original claim was. But it's the fact that he's just harassing people and going after them. Yeah. And eventually the info was brought to Callum. And he said, look, 
this is what your per- your overseer is doing. And he had no choice to uh, to go. Now, you say you want a neutral point. He had he said that he had no platform or his platform was taken away. That's a lie. He had a YouTube channel with 3.7k subscribers. He could have easily, you know, he could have easily gone on there and made his point. He didn't. He didn't make a point. And even to this day, two months later, he's never made a video or never made any sort of statement to say... This is why I did this, or this is why it happened. The only thing I think someone said was he made Mando to prove that because Sips was getting doxxed, uh, being neutral, people were doxing Sips, um, which again is shit. But there's such a grey area on whether it's called a dox or not. That's the problem. Um, but we assumed that we respect your privacy, mate, so we'll call it a dox. The people doxing him, right? Sips never went after them. He never went off to the people doxing him. And if that was the case, I would say, okay, I don't agree with it, but I can see where he's coming from. An eye for an eye. But he didn't. He went after people who didn't deserve it. Who done nothing wrong, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Um, And I mentioned this other person called Besme. Now, in terms of doxing, the only thing we could say was we have a a fella in in our server uh, called Archie. So Sips and Besme decided to just put his face in Discord corner for no reason because they were having an argument. And we said, right, I mean, you can't just do You can't just put someone's face in. And his argument was it was a public live stream. But no one in the Discord corner ever posted it. Like, no one put anything in the Discord corner. Like, it's everyone respected his privacy. Yeah. Um, and we thought, okay, that's that's got to be it. Like, you, you, that's got to be sort of your final nail in the coffin. And I think it sort of was to an extent. And we could sort of say, you know, Besme can get banned for doxing because Besme, all she did was target Jersey Boy. I think that's all she sort of did, or just sort of she was just an awful mod. Like she wasn't as bad as Sips, but we believe that she was as complicit, so to say. Um. In the in the uh, what's it called? I could I don't want can I call it bullying? Like I guess you could. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah. But most of this sort of stemmed as well from me because I got told that so you donate to Sips, right? I forgot to change a PayPal. Mm-hmm. Now you assume that the streamer will hold your personal info and hold it to themselves. Diddy heck. So anyone who's donated to Sips, he probably has something of their of them. Oh. And rather than keep it to himself, he just leaked it to whoever he just had he was careless with it. He told he told Besme it. He told Besme stuff. Because I got I got into a DM with her and she said, Oh, by the way and then she just drops a name in casual conversation. I thought, okay, only one person knew that. Yeah. Um and, it, and then it got to the point where someone got told it. They never even asked for it. Do you know what they said? They said, "Oh, let's say, let's say we put it like this. Let's say your name's John, right? For example." And I say, "Oh, um, so you spoken to ALP? How is he? Oh, you mean John? Yeah. That's how he said it. He just said it. He just he just blurted it out. Um. So I thought, okay, this guy just does not care about your personal, you know." He doesn't care about your, dep- your, 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 you know, your privacy, even though the whole server respected his privacy. You know, we knew what his face was, we knew his name, but no one posted it anywhere. Bar the odd, you know, bar the odd uh, person who just wants to be a dickhead, but they got banned. Um, so that eventually what happened. We, we just, he just got banned, um, and we've not heard any of, from any of them for that period. There was a few statements they made, um, which they put in the announcement section of the server. They just got sort of memed. And then two just deleted everyone. Uh, they purged their own servers. There was two servers. One was called Besme's Barbecue. And one was called Sips' Cantina. Oh. Both of them got purged. Uh, and I think they just left. I think they're still on Discord. But they don't. They've not interacted. And people went out their way from Discord Corner to go in every server Besme was in. And just bully her out of it. Now, I don't. Well, I don't. Harsh. I don't really agree with them harassing people or anything like that. But I think it was just to do with the built-up anger of 
the amount of shit you've done to us, we don't care now. No. So they went into a, a few servers and just she left. She left them because people just kept going in there and to the point we got to the point where look, we're not going to do it anymore. Um, we're just going to uh, to leave it there, and uh, that's that's what happened. And like, as I said, we've we've not heard from them. Uh, well, when I say not heard from them, we've not heard from them message wise. But I think a few days ago, Besme uploaded a video to her YouTube channel, which eventually got taken down. Uh, the video of Sips uh, lip sync into a, a, an Eminem song, um, <laughs> and that's all we sort of heard from them. <laughs> Bit mad. Well, I don't know how old the video is. The video might be old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. It then. Um, but yeah, that's that's eventually what happened. So there, was, that... there is other stuff that he did, but I'm not going to detail about it. For example, he, I said he blackmailed Rogue off the internet. But when I say off the internet, that's a bit hard. That's a bit dramatic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It, he won't come back to the Counter Corner community. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Even though we said, oh, look, he's gone. He, he still won't come back. He made another guy have a bit of a mental breakdown. Uh, another sh- streamer guy. When I say streamer guy, people will know who I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he had a. They made. They just literally found out his his stepbrother's name and all this. So not not the nicest of guys. And as I said, we we all went onto his YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel spammed his uh, comments. He deleted his. He not deleted his. He just turned off comments. His channel's still up. But he just turned off comments, and I think that sort of summed it up. Like, yeah, uh, you know, I mean, you, you can dish. You can dish it out, but you can't take it. He really, he really should be able to face the music. If he's done something bad, then he really should just like be open to criticism, you know. So, <laughs> you know, maybe like he's just embarrassed about what he's done. He just thinks to himself, "Well, all they're going to do is mock me. What's the point of having the um, having the comments on?" But I suppose that shows that he knows he's in the wrong and that he's guilty with all this stuff yeah. he's done. But he claimed he was framed. If you if you pardon the rhyme there, he claimed he was framed. Um, but as I said, if that's the case, come out and defend yourself. Look, the thing is with his position, he was the most subscribed channel bar Callum. He was, uh, you know, the song that people thought, oh, this guy's decent, and as you found out from your your messages with him um, and my interactions with him, circa sort of you know 2019. All this is just sort of you know it's it's, it's a bit weird to explain it and. I generally want to just have like a response video because the thing that annoyed me is only half like we did me and me and someone else did not want him to have the set or them two to have the send off that they wanted, which they didn't. They got they get rid of they, every every time you bring them up they get ridiculed, they get mocked. That's why I made the Callum's Corner Burns Idiot Live YTP. It was just a mock at Sips. Um and that sort of sums up their their legacy, so to say. But uh, the thing that annoys me is, as you said, he just went out with a whimper. Mm. He just he went out with a whimper. It, it, if you made a video defend, defending yourself, I know it would have been YTP'd. It would have been memed. But at least you sort of stood your ground. Yeah, at least he owned up to the actions and put his hands in the air and said, guys, it's my fault. But he didn't, so quite a shame. That's what annoyed me. That's what I think. That's what annoyed me because it still, to me, it still feels unfinished. Yeah. Like they're gone. So I guess we can sort of move on. Yeah. Which hopefully the community do, moves on and just forgets about it, you know, and just thinks, well, he seemed like a really, really nice guy, but then he acted like a bit of a tit, and now we've just got to try and forget about it. Well, try and move on from it. That's what I would like to say. Like, if they were watching, I would like to say, like, I would just genuinely like to have a conversation. To know why. I was about to say, yeah, you definitely want to know, like, why did you troll all these people? What, like, why I, you, I, why? can I just say what I personally think? Sips to me seem like a very, from what I saw on the videos, he seemed like in real life that he's a little bit of a introvert, in my opinion. He seemed like he comes across as that. Like, uh, you know, we all. It depends what, where we are, how we feel. You know, if I'm with a bunch of people I have no idea about, I'll try and talk, but I'm nowhere near as talkative as I am on the podcast. If I'm with people I know, I'll talk probably exactly how I do on the podcast and I'll have a laugh with them. But like, we all have moments when we're quiet, but Sip seems like he's very, very much like a quiet dude. And he, usually with these, I, I, 
I don't mean to assume things, but if he is this type of person, if he's a geeky person, not really that big or strong or bulky, you know, maybe in school he was always like, he never had any power in situations or in life. He's never had any power. He's always been the dude who's been a bit geeky or frowned upon or whatever compared to other people. And maybe he feels like doxing people, annoying people, blackmailing people. This gives him some sort of power and it gives him some authority and, you know, control. And previously, maybe he didn't have any control over things, but this gave him some sort of thrill and control. I, I'm... T- I sent this person away. This makes me feel good. I blackmailed him and he left. I've got power. I've got control. I've doxed this person. I've doxed this other person. Oh, I've made this account. I'm fooling all these people. I've got control. You know. But it's it's but the whole point of the corner is like it, you escape it. It's like just a bunch of people who <laughs> meme a 38, you know, a 38 coming on to 39 year old. Exactly. Year old That's the whole point. There's, there should be no like problem with it. Like, yeah, you're going to get a few people that probably take a joke too far. You're going to get a few people doing this, but that's the whole point. Um, in, in terms of what you said, like, you just need to watch a live, one of his live streams. It was, I don't want to sound harsh, but it was just boring, mundane, bland. Um, I don't know what other words I could use. It was just him sitting there talking to a mic. The donation came on, he'd react differently. You compare that to a, a Callum stream, um, Okay, I know you can't really compare the two, but um, you, just, you just watch a sip. I don't know if you've seen a sip stream. There's just nothing to it. He went on Amigo a few times. Even that was boring. Yeah. Um, hmm. So it's, it's well. Well, the thing is, I'm not having a go, but maybe part of it is like he maybe he feels that oh, this gives me character being the bad guy. But the thing that annoys me is that he's done all this stuff, but as you said, he won't own up to it. He doesn't have the gall to own up to any of it, and it's like, wow, you know. And also, you know, you said, can I, can I just say, you know, you said his streams are quite boring. That's probably yeah. why he just does stream highlights and all this stuff about Callum because he couldn't do stuff about himself talking because people find it quite mundane and lethargic and boring. I mean, he tried to make YTPs. Like for me, I don't. I'm not the most. I don't have the most personality, but a YTP can. It's, then again, I guess you got to kind of. I don't want to say you have to have personality, but you, you, you've got to have some sort of creativity to it. And you know, the thing was, it, he he it, he sort of threw away his position. The videos were monetized, which you could say should they be. But then again, that's just how YouTube works. Callum Even doesn't. But the thing is, Callum doesn't care about copyright stuff, does he? Yeah. Um, that's what, okay, so if you take that into consideration, then then there is no problem. Uh, but you know, the person who holds the content um, has no problem. But again, he sort of threw away a position he had. I guess that's probably why the channel's still up because it is still making money to an extent. There are still ads on it. Um, but it, again, what I would what I would like to say is, like, I would either a like him. Um, there's me to defend themselves on Sipsy's channel because he's still got subscribers there. Or I would like to have a conversation with them to know why they did what they did. Would you forgive him if it was a valid enough reason? I know it's hard to find a valid reason, but say if they felt really down about themselves or they felt insecure, would you forgive him? No. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, no, no, I'll tell you why. They, They spent most of the time harassing Jersey to the point where he didn't want to be in this community anymore and yeah. that's the problem like you, why should I feel sorry for you when you you doing stuff like that to people even if you see even if they've been through trauma or really bad times you just think forget this no no you don't no you don't just take it out on someone like that, that you, don't, you know what you don't, that's not how you do it that's it's like, <laughs> toss pot I mean, I've, I've got to say mate you're absolutely spot on there fair point man um, I'm not even just saying that because you've been good enough to come on and be a guest. That's absolutely spot on. I really can relate to what you're saying. I just thought I'd ask that to get your opinion. You know, um, well, it's, it's 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 the point though. Like you can't just go around and harass. I mean, the thing is, we've it's it's weird because what they've done. Bears me. You could say, okay, do you know what? We could you you could probably get, she could apologise and it'll be, all be good. But to the sips' extent, I don't think you could. It could have, as I said, as long as you own up to your mistakes, it sort of softens the blow. Um, but I, I needed somewhere central to explain it. Cause I, keep, I do get asked 
and there's stuff that I can say and I can't say. So I thought I'd say everything I'm allowed to say here, and 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 then that be it because I, I, eventually we will move on. I, hope I, I don't so. think many people, many people, most people would talk about Sips more because what he did was worse than what Besme did. Yeah. You know, um, you know that point though about like not forgiving people. As I said, it was really good, a great point because the thing is, anyone, anyone, a lot of if you walk up to a random person on the street and talk to them about their life, they probably had some bad stuff happen, you know. And are they using that to justify thing? Like, are they think saying, "Oh, this bad thing happened to me, that means I can annoy all these people and make all their lives hard or blackmail them"? No, because otherwise everyone would be doing bad things all the time. Doesn't justify exactly. anything, does yeah. it? It's like if you if you, go, you can't just apologise your way out of things because mm. let's say you take the criminal system and you go through every crime that you can commit. Some you can you, some you can say yeah that's that's no problem like assault or folly robbery you can say do you know what you can apologise your way out of that. Other crimes I don't want to say because I don't want to get you. But you, I think you can't you can't apologise. It's it's ridiculous. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's an extent where you can apologise for some stuff. But for other stuff, it's un- unapologetic. You does the, it does depend what happens in the robbery and the assault, you know. Oh, uh, that's fair enough. That's I think it, it all depends on what happens. Um, and the severity in it. I, I think the fact that you blackmailed someone out of a community and nearly made someone leave, I think it, 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 you can't. It's because I think the guy he booed out, Rogue, was a legend of the corner. Callum knew who he was. Everyone sort of liked his videos. Not sort of like everyone liked his videos like this, like that. And for him just to be sort of forced out. And there's screenshots to confirm that Mando did this to Rogue. Yeah. So there's, there's screenshots there. I can't remember who's uploaded the videos. Uh, someone's made sort of uh, slideshows and they've made them. So, but I, I don't think we'll ever see them again in this community. They might pop up somewhere else. I, I mean, don't know. thing is, I feel like with how I thought Sips was really, really cool originally and a really nice guy and then turning bad, I feel like we've all got a good side and a bad side to us, but it depends which one we act on. And I do hope <clears> Sips from now on acts on his good side and learns from this, uh, you know. Because I'm not trying to say having some <laughs> online fame is the be all and end all. But it feels good to have a community of people behind you, respect you, and he can't have that anymore. I mean, it's possible. He could work hard at other things, but it's going to be a lot harder unless he really cleans up his act or tries to do good I things. I mean, he could. If he, I mean, the, the name Sips is tarnished. He could come back as someone else, and you never know. Um, but I, I think the name Sips is completely tarnished. Yeah. Um, there's no way you can go on with that name. And... Again, I, I, I would I would like some form of response just to sort of bury it. Yeah. Uh, like that's why I'm sort of on here because it, it's like I want to sort of bury this and leave it there because eventually we're, we're going to move on. Eventually we are going to move on from them. And uh, as I said we're all going to get to the point where yeah, we're, like, we're too old for this and leave the you know leave the corner at some point. I mean, I don't see myself going into my thirties making YTPs. Yeah, but hopefully, <laughs> you know, but, as long as Callum's videos are still funny, hopefully everyone's still watching I mean, him. that's the thing I wanted to say about Callum's videos. Like, again, I like the guy. I think he's he's hilarious. But to me, his late like, if, if that, would that be something you'd like to sort of know? Like, it's it, like what about his late his videos? Yeah, yeah, was? yeah, yeah. What your opinions on his uh, newest latest videos are? It depends what you mean latest. I mean, um, can I just you tell mean you? Twenty. You know, the um, in recent times, right, can I just say, I loved his house review, like, talking about his new house, and I loved the um, stop forcing yourself on me. I thought that was hilarious. The meme review was okay, and the smash up pass was okay, but it feels like the sweaty swallocks and the Karen thing and streaming four guys every day. I know he makes great money, but the content just gets a little bit old after a while. Like, I get the streaming four guys stuff for money and all that, but come on, mate, put some effort in, make, make your original videos, well, make other normal videos still, uh, you know. I mean, because I have DM'd Callum, like, on Twitter at some point, you know, um, again, obviously the Golden War, you don't say what's in there, but I've spoken to, I've spoken to him, it's, it's, again, sounds decent guy, but I think some of the stuff is what I'd like to class as YTP bait, and the ego video is one hundred percent. Oh yeah, that was YTP made. That was just bizarre. Guess, that was so weird. It's. I mean, if you made a Twitter account as an ego and 
post his ridiculous tweets, I think you could probably say, yeah, there you are, he's undercover as an ego and doing other stuff. But it was a bit confusing. He went dressed on a Spock, um, which I thought, what? It, it looked, just looks like he was in fancy dress. It didn't look yeah. like an ego video at all. Yeah. Um, and I think, to me, that has probably got to be, and I hate saying this, one of his worst videos, Definitely. in my opinion. Because even, um, even the old bad quality ones... Well, we all know they were amazing because, like, they had a charm to them. They were funny, said hilarious things. But him dressing up as an e-girl and dressing up as Spock, it's like, mate, what are you doing, you know? I mean, the spray cream in the mouth is just YTP-based. You, you yeah. want to put, a, you know, like a dildo on, on the spray can to make it, like... It's... And I think that's what some of the videos are becoming. Um, and it's... I don't want to step to the meme reviews because I think the meme reviews are hilarious. Just the way he, he reacts to some of them. But you yeah, made some... a point on a previous podcast, which I actually linked on my channel, what, like, you, that you're, I don't want to say unsatisfied, but I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you said something about the quality of the meme reviews. I just felt like they used to be a treat and that there was more variety to them and his reactions were more funny. But now it's just YTP, YTP. And I... I'm still sticking by what I said, how it does feel like the same YTP is. But you said to me yesterday, obviously, on a call, that there's a reason why he sticks to the main YTP is because, yeah. of, because of a certain it's... quality. And I, I get that, but like I would prefer some new people as well as... Or maybe just react to more YTPs as well, you know. Well, what, with what you said was um, you need to react to more... I know there's only one video, but mm-hmm. I think three different YTP artists. You had Chegg Greg. You had another fella in, uh, but this is the thing. I'm saying another fella. I can't remember his name. I don't want to sound like up my own, you know, up my own backside. But I remembered one of them, which was Chad Greg, because his video it felt like a movie, and it was just the way it was. Was, was his like, the um, had... was his the Tesco one where he rides Tesco? Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'll give him, I'll give him credit. That was quite you good. Had the Tesco meme in there. You had the toaster meme in there. You, and the test the Tesco Ford Department meme. Sorry, and it just. The way he edited Talon's voice in certain bits, thought he's made a movie. Like what? <laughs> and that's sort of what where we're at now. Like you see with my one, there's keyframe in TGMs, there's keyframe in pop passes, there's keyframe in funky. It's we're getting to the point now where I think the bar gets so high. That's what I think. I that's why I think it's the same people because the bar is getting that high. Only some people can get over it. Yeah, I mean to be um, honest. Callum's Corner's YTPs, you know, well, Callum, Callum's Corner YTPs, they used to be like a surplus, really. There wasn't many of them, but now it's all over the gaff, isn't it? So I do get what you mean there, actually. You just search Callum's Corner YTP and search by upload date, you'll see quite a few. Yeah. Now, uh, as I said, the bar gets set so high. When, when Meme Views first came out, there was no such thing as a Callum's Corner YTP. Well, there was a fella called Satan Bullfrog, I believe made one of the first Callum's Corner YTPs. Don't quite, I'm not too sure if, if he did, but from what I know so far, I think, and there was another one which was Callum's Corner sells nudes of dogs. That was another YTP which was uploaded fairly early on. Um, there was no bar, so to say. That's why, uh, like, in the meme reviews, it was either a meme of him and it was just shut up on, you know, the Stormzy video or Callum's Corner, but we are number one. Yeah. You know, there was... But there was that sort of thing that we there was no bar and eventually the more memes came in uh, you know the more the bar went higher so you originally started with like three people you had the condescender you had a fellow called profanity memes and you had rogue memes and eventually more people joined and again when more people join it does get saturated that's that's just how all things work yeah now the bar's getting so high, some are slowly elevating. Mm-hmm. Because each person's brought their own thing. So let's say we take Polygon. Callum's Corner song videos were basically, let's say you take Kate Perry's I Kissed a Girl. It, it was changed to I Kissed an Ass. And it was <laughs> sort of Kate Perry singing, like, I Kissed a... But instead of Girl, it was Cut, a Cancer Dance. And then we go back to a Kate Perry song. So there wasn't much editing, so to say, but it sort of was funny at the time. But what Polygon did was he came in and said, right, I'm going to make Callum say every word. And that's what he did. And that's where some people, what some people need to do, take an idea, but expand on it. And 
and it, it, you know, eventually, as I said, you'll, you'll bring your own thing in. For example, Funky made him a gay porn star and he's brought in these crossovers. Um, TGM brought in him with Eddie Roger way they had a car journey. Chad Gregg's made a, a movie. Um, I, you know, I've, I've made him racist. I've, um, I'm trying to think of, of other people, but... Um, Oh, there was another fella. Oh, Lucas No Name, but he he had his channel taken down. But he um he made a video which was brilliant. And so each person sort of brought their own thing in. And I think that's what someone needs. Someone needs to do, or just just yeah. want to take your time and, and like if you make a YTP, don't do it to get in a meme review. Just do it for yourself first. And yeah. then if it's good, he'll he'll react to it. In fairness, we'll bro, I'll tell you yeah. something. I'm just going to own it right now. That YTP I did ages ago. Callum's Corner calls out PewDiePie. That was just to try and get in the meme review. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I mean, everyone does, but what me and Funky uh, do, and I think other people, is if we see a YTP and we like it, we'll put it in our community section and go, check this out. Because I do get what you mean. There are some people who were just... Like, it took, we tried to get Porry in uh, Porygon to a meme review because it, it was just like, the way he did it was brilliant. So we thought, right, we need to get this guy in. So we just... <laughs> put him in like our, our, com- our community section it was the same with Papa's we were in I don't want to say we made these people we, just, we basically gave them a bike Cal mm-hmm. gave them a car does that make sense um, so we sort of as I said I saw Papa's Me Maria, Maria video where it was a Cal video but he edited it where it was and now narr- there was a narrative it wasn't you know like a source joke and then a reverse joke and then some edit here and then it felt like you were watching a video thing there was narrative. Yeah. So we thought, that's, that's pretty funny, that. So we thought, okay, let's share this video. And eventually he got into a meme review. Uh, and I think he's the third most subscribed chat. Well, condescenders the most, but he he's MIA. So it's, he's, I think Papa's like the third, but I don't know where Papa's gone. I think he's busy with other stuff. I'm not too, again, I'm not too sure. Um, it's getting to the point now where we will eventually run out of Callum stuff to YTP because yes, he's got loads of content, but it'll just be probably Eddie jokes, who jokes, ass jokes, you know. <laughs> so it's, so we, I'm guessing yeah. it will probably fade, won't it? Eventually, every dog has its day, you know. Everything comes to an end, really, doesn't it? All good things. I mean, it's it, it is depends on how you edit it. I think that's one thing. Um, with Callum's corner YTPs, you kind of got to, you know, bring something else. I mean, it's got to the point where I've had to remake, well, not remake, but my latest video is semi a remake of Callum's oh. Price Exposed as a Racist. Bloody hell. It's semi a remake. It's his own idea, but it's also, you can see elements of the other video. Um, but obviously, because when I first started with Adobe, I had no idea how to put even text on a screen. Um, like that's what we're talking about. Um, and now I've made him have a, a van chase. So, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of getting there, teaching myself how to use Adobe. But as I said, there will be a time where YTPs will just sort of become the same. I, I don't want to say that because it, it does sound harsh. But I've got to be honest. Um, I don't want to have another YTP which is just full of Eddie jokes or poo jokes or yeah. arse jokes. Um, I mean, I don't want to say the racism stuff because it's just the way it comes out. It just looks, it just looks ridiculous. Well, I was gonna, um, I was gonna say quickly though. I was gonna bring that up, like about it being a bit too far and offensive. But you know, with YTPs, especially when it comes down to one person, if you just YTP in one person, they're just not meant to last. Certain things can last for years and years and years and years. But YTPs are about one person. It's very hard to get longevity in that. Having said that, the, the, the slurs, believe it or not, came from trying to one-up each other. So I know, we, I remember you said, yeah, in, pro, in message, yeah, in Discord message. We, what we're going to do is we're going to try and one-up each other. So mm. I've made Callum say he's going undercover as, as a black person. So Funky goes, you know what, no, I'm going to make Callum say a slur. And then I say, do you know what, if you do want to do that, Funky, I'm going to make Callum do a certain event in, you know, the 1940s which we can't say because, you know, I'm going to make Callum commit that. And that video got taken down. So it got to the point where trying to one-up each other would probably get our channels taken down. 
The thing <clears throat> is, though, if you were a victim of any of these jokes, you know, would you, <clears throat> you know, wouldn't you be a little bit annoyed? I think, yeah, it's 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 quite it's quite a, a weird area because each joke I do, I don't belong to any of that. If that makes sense, yeah, yeah. I don't. So to me, it looks like a joke, and it's. I think the joke for me, it's the juxtaposition. That's a bit of a fancy word, but what it means is someone like Callum, who's this average guy, doing something extreme and being racist. It, it's. It makes no sense. It's. It's. It doesn't belong. Yeah. It's like if you saw Mother Teresa go and kick a kid in the face. Yeah, that's I what get I mean. It, yeah. It's like it, it's. It's something that wouldn't happen. Yeah. And that's what I think the joke. Is, where the joke lies in that, and. We got to the point where we thought, okay, we're going to cover ourselves. So me, Papa, and Funky, I don't know if other people have, we put disclaimers in our about section. Oh, okay. So look, just to, I know it doesn't really, it's not like a full shield, but it says, look, we understand this stuff is offensive. So if you're not, if this is not the thing, don't watch. And look, we don't agree with any ism or phobia. I've got to put ism and phobia just as a blanket yeah. term. Um, just to say, look, the whole point of this YTP, I mean, if people generally thought it was offensive, I would not have the like to dislike ratio I have. That, people yeah. Dis- mass dislike it, mass dislike it. So, I mean, trust me. Understand it's a joke. Trust me, it doesn't annoy me enough for me to dislike it or be like, oh, toss pot, blah, blah, blah. It is just meant to be a joke, but I just don't. I just don't really. As I said before, it's funny to see Callum's face and his reaction and him being so flabbergasted by the madness. But the actual YTPs themselves are... There's some funny jokes, but when it comes to, like, you know, racism and extremism, I just don't find any of that funny, personally. I know it's meant to be a joke, but, like, I just... Mm. But Callum's reaction to some of the stuff in the videos, like, just, you know, that that can be funny because he's so flabbergasted. But again, it's, it's like just putting Callum in this situation where Callum goes to an EDL march. It's, yeah. it's the most ridiculous thing. I think that's what we're trying to go for, sort of ridiculous situations where as you say it links to the action and you're going why am I there what what have you done and it's it's hmm. it's it's sort of what, what we're trying to get at the moment I think in, in terms of YTPs what I'm working on now is it's not a canon YTP because I want to try other stuff like yeah, yeah, as I said, it's best to branch canon out canon YTPs are funny to make but forcing yourself to make one and to try to one up somehow without getting your channel taken down is, is quite hard to do because you, you think, it's not the case of running out of ideas. I've got plenty of ideas. But the, the thing is, will that idea get that video taken down? So then you have to scrap it. And then what you're left with is pretty much nothing. Because people are used to the slurs now. So it's if I did a video about a slur, people think, oh, what the hell? Where's the video? It's like, I can't make a video with just source and reverse jokes. Because people think, okay, they're good, but where's, where's the slur? And when you eventually get people used to something, they'll want more. Mm-hmm. You'll give a man an inch, you'll want a mile. Um, and I think that's the honest way to put it, so to say. Yeah. Um, but still, I'm working on a Dragon's Den YTP, which mm-hmm. some people might understand or might like, but it's just to test the test the wars, so to say. I'll put it out with a, a, you know another video and be like, look, a Calendar's Corner video is coming, but if you want to watch this and check out what I can do, then... You know, I've have a watch of it. If it kills my channel, it kills my channel. But it's it's worth branching out. It's better to oh, try. Yeah. It's better to try a million new things and fail than just do the same thing over and over and be bored with it. And if we keep doing Callum stuff, eventually the pond will dry up. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It, it's and as I said, we're linking in with YTP, but everyone will probably do the same joke. And I'm not blaming them for. It. I said, look, if you, if you do the same joke, it's a coincidence. But we're getting to the point now where, uh, as I said, I was sent a video today. Um, yeah, I was sent a video which was basically this guy who made a YTP but ripped off our clips. And when I say ripped off, he didn't recreate them. He went on our videos, cut them out, and put them in oh. his video. Yeah. So it, if we're going to get to that point, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> it's, and... I sort of recognised this when what I used to do on my community tab was if I found a video that's on re-uploaded on mine I, I didn't mean it in a, in a malicious way but I'd send people to say look this isn't cool can you take this video down 
Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't realise. I thought this... it was power, but I didn't realise I could get people to go over to a video and say, can you take this down because this is not your work? And it's... And people did. I think that was good because people, people did go, look, take this down, and the video got taken down. Or when I say taken down, like, the author removed the video, which I thought, there we go. Because it's saying, look, if you're on like a YTP, that's fine. Don't rip mine off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um... I was going to ask though, you know, you said you used to do commentary videos. Would you ever go back to that? Would you ever go back to that type of thing or? Um, it's, it's quite funny now because most commentary channels to me are the same. Oh, okay. Like, like, if, 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 I mean, you go on, it would be someone reacting to something on Buzzfeed. Well, that's what it used to be. Now it'd be something reacting to some like TLC show, like 90 minute, or 90 day ride or, um, Oh, what's the other, you know, like, all reacting to TV shows like The Angriest Passenger Compilation or Educating Yorkshire, you know, reacting to, it's, that's not what it should be. It should be like calling something out because that's not right or creating a debate about something. That's what commentary should have been about. And that's what I did, but no one watched it. And it's like demoralising when you make a video and no one watches it. It is, it is a bit annoying, but it's also about the love of the game in it and the process and all that jazz. But I'm, I'm, I'm about a meritocracy. I'm about merit. Is it meritocracy? Is the word where you think everything good should prevail, everything bad should just go down in the gut? If that makes sense. And that's what I think. It should. Everything should be like a meritocracy. Yeah, but that so isn't. If you're good at what you do, up it goes. But sadly, that ain't how things work, bro. You know, people oh, no, watch, it's, it's... people watch what they want to watch, and that's that, really. Um, yeah, I think we can wrap up there anyway. Have you got any? Oh yeah, I was going to ask two thing, two last questions. No, no, th- technic, no. Okay, a few. Oh, three. Oh, I've got oh, a few oh, questions. Oh, All right, did you, did you ever troll Callum's corner? In what way? Uh, sending him crack toasters or whatever. I don't know. Were you part of that? Oh, the only trolling I was aware I did was the stream stuff. So the Jihadi Eddie character is me. People get confused. That is me, Jihadi Eddie character. Oh, okay. Which the whole premise of it was um, the backlog. There was just a massive backlog of Jihadi Eddie donations. The toaster stuff I was aware of. Um, and that came from obviously the meme that we thought he never had a toaster. Oh. I know who said the toasters. Um, but... No, I was not officially part of okay. that. Um, what's your favourite beef that he's had with another YouTuber? Favourite beef? Um... Afghan Dan, Stephen Tries, um, what's his name? Dylan Brewer. Um, I personally like the Stephen Tries on Best. I just thought that was absolutely hilarious banter, but what's yours, bro? I think... Will and E. Uh, sure, on Stephen Tries. Yes, lad. Really. Decent. I think the decent... This tricky mate was decent. Um... I, I, I mean, if, if he dissed Af- Afghan Dan now, I think that probably would have been my beef, like my favourite beef. Mm-hmm. Because back then it was an awful diss track. But if he did it now, I think he, he could be better. Um, it, oh, I mean, but the thing is, you've got to look at it though. Um, Aaron made a good point on the history of Callum's Corner. Where's Afghan Dan now? No, where, where's Callum's Corner? £2,000 on one stream, you know. Well, Afghan Dan might be doing his own stuff. I, I don't know. Um, well, he's not really in the main YouTube eye anymore, is he? No, that's, that's a valid point. That Where, um, like... <laughs> I was going to ask them what are the a few more questions. What other YouTubers do you watch? Uh, what do you mean, Callum's Corner based? Or no, no, no. Anyone? True Geordie, Logan Paul, uh, the Right Opinion. I, to, I don't know. To be honest with you, I, the only person I. I I, mean, I sort of watch what comes up on my screen. Oh, okay. Um, if that makes sense. Like, when I, I don't know that sounds sarcastic. What I mean is, like, if there's a video I like look off, I'll watch it. But in terms of regular video I watch, I'd say the only one I watch is Kavos, because in my opinion, he's the only commentator who says what he thinks, rather than this sort of, you know, sugar-coated, um, you know, sort of blanket that every commentary YouTuber does. That's why I watch Kavos. I think that's the only person I sort of watch, not religiously, but like, oh, what's he uploaded? On top of that, I'd say I probably... Other YouTubers, I mean, when I say other YouTubers, like, not watch all the time, but I have seen a few videos. There's a fellow that we are memeing in the Discord corner called Stop and Step. 
don't know if you've seen the jokes we've made, but he's a guy who streams slots, you know, like online slots in the bookies or online or in the arcade. And we've made him a meme. Oh, okay. But he's like that sort of way you sort of think, oh, I hate him, but you can't hate him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those things. But other than that, I don't like, I don't really watch many YouTubers. Um, like, if there's a trending topic, for example, you know, if someone's in the spotlight, you'll type their name in and you'll look at all the videos related to them. Yeah. And just see what's decent to watch. But I don't really watch YouTube. I just listen to the mu- to music on YouTube. That's all I really do. Fair play. <laughs> it's... Um, do you get a lot of hate, positive or hate messages? And do you... Okay, you sort of answered this earlier, but you do care about views, but I wrote, I wrote down, and do you care about views, but you do, don't you? When, I, when it comes to views, to be honest, there's a certain percentage I want. Okay. Like, at the moment, each video surpasses my sub count, so it's over 100% viewer rate, yeah. so to say. But if, if I made a video, if I'm on, let's say, near 3K, and I get 300 views for a video at 3K... To me, it's like, uh, I sort of want like 40% minimum yeah, I get of stuff out. Because it's like, well, not many people are watching you now. And it's like, it's it's, the, it's when I look at some of these channels on YouTube, like the old gaming channels, and they've got millions of subs, yet they only get a couple of K views a video. Yeah, yeah, but to gaming. Me, yeah, yeah, but I gaming. Don't want to go down that route. But gaming, like, but gaming channels are really becoming a dying breed. Oh, I mean, if you've not got a personality, then you just fail. And I think that's what I said. You said something else. Well, uh, something else. Do I care about other stuff? Oh, um, do you get many hate comments or do you get mostly positive or? So I do get mostly positive. Great. Um, it'll be either be people quoting something in a YCB or it'll be saying it's a great video, great this, great that, which it's like, cool, brilliant. It's, it's as long as people, to me, people commenting, I, I prefer rather than a like because... People have to got to type something out rather than just click a button. Yeah. Um, in terms of hate, I, I turn my filter off, so I allow every comment. Oh, okay. Because I, I hate people who hide behind stuff. I think... Well, when I say hide behind stuff, I mean, like, if you want to leave hate, that's fine, because it's your opinion. I don't care. I don't care if you think the video's awful. I don't care if you think the video's brilliant, because... It's your opinion. You're entitled to it. If you know what I mean. If you think the video is good, brilliant, and that, that motivates me. But if you think it's bad, again, that motivates me because I can go, like, okay, cool. But I wouldn't mind if someone did leave hate. What I didn't go, okay, this video is bad. Why is it bad? And just like it's, it's that's the thing with most YouTube hate. They don't say why it's bad. If they say no, it's bad because your audio is bad. That's no problem. Thank you. Yeah. But, <laughs> In terms of hate, I, I only get dislikes. I've never seen hate, hate comment. That's good. Um, it's mostly just dislikes. The only hate I got was I trolled Deji uh, on a live stream. And I got people, some of his salty fans coming over to me saying, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Uh, and accused me of uh, Islamophobia, despite I've never said anything of the sort. Um, but again, that's, that's just what some people want to do on the internet. That's fine. But in terms to answer the question, no, I've never received any hate comment. That's good. But I do get dislikes. Yeah, yeah. most people do, don't they? Um, <laughs> so any final thoughts, anything you want to say or before I end, it, end the podcast? Well, it feels weird explaining the behind-the-scenes stuff. <laughs> it's just, okay. it's just all that thing. Like, um, in regards to the YTP future, I mean, I'm not going to say I'll do this forever. No one does it forever, but True. it's... it's if people watch, then I'll keep doing it. Um, but eventually, I slowly want to move to not move completely away from Callum's Corner, but like do other stuff. Because at the moment, my audience is probably 97. It's a very high percentage of Callum's Corner viewers. And if they want to watch it, that's fine. I will do that for them. But I want to try other stuff. Maybe if they if they do like that stuff, then they'll watch whatever I post. Um, but I might turn to live streaming. Because we've got a fella called Jerome who does live stream and he's bloody hilarious. Um, and he gets, he, get, he, got, he gets like 20 on 22 viewers a stream, which is half what Sip's got, but he's entertaining. And he yeah, puts yeah. text to speech in his comments. So, like, 
we people can entertain themselves. Um, I probably would go to live streaming. Um, probably for next gen. Probably for next gen, though. Okay. Um, I just sort of, if people want to watch that, then it would probably be more personal. Are you getting a so PlayStation? Are you getting a PlayStation Five or a Series X then? PlayStation Five. Oh, I've always okay. played PlayStation. No, no, tell a lie. I got an Xbox 360 because Halo 3 was a fantastic game. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fantastic game, so it's a world of war. Um, but I'm probably getting a PS5 because a few of us have PlayStation and I prefer, the, I prefer Sony consoles because I'm not a fanboy. I just Fair they last longer, in my opinion. <laughs> Each to their own, in it, man. Um, I guess we can end it there. Thanks so much for... Um, no problem you know, put in the history of Callum's Corner um, in your community page. And thanks so much for coming oh, no, on, bro, and talking about stuff openly. Just much appreciated. In terms of probably getting other people on, some people aren't a fan of sharing their voice. So that is fair. That's their privacy, but it's, it's good to sort of... It's good to explain stuff. Plus, as I said, it's a central point. So if people keep asking me about a certain situation, I can say, well, go well, here yeah. and explain why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, that's the end then. Uh, See you guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one.